talking about charades and shows, do you remember that after the 2020 election, um, you know, when all the hype was about uh, stolen election, and Republicans were freaking out, and Donald Trump and Powell and and uh, Giuliani, uh, who, who, who you know, were all out there claiming stolen election fraud, Dominion voting machines. Ooh, Dominion voting machines. They are sneaky little things that are, that that sway uh, sway elections towards Democrats. And Fox News was in on it, and they were constantly hyping this idea that Dominion machines, Dominion uh, voting machines uh, were responsible for Trump's loss and they were all rigged and this corruption, it's insane. Um, well, Dominion, if you remember, Dominion sued over this. They, they uh, um, you know, they sued in, um, uh, let me just find this, sorry. Yeah, they, they, they sued in, I think it was March of 2021, uh, they sued Fox uh, basically for uh, defamation, right? Um, let me just see here. Yeah, they sued them for, um, you know, for, for, for the fact that they defamed the company uh, with these fabricated lies. And uh, they sued them for $1.6 $1 billion, billion dollars, right? So it's going to go to court, and we're going to see everything, and it's all going to be revealed. And the interesting thing is that Dominion, in order to prove defamation, actually has to show that the company uh, knew that what they were doing was false. They actually have to show that this was intentional, that um, there was not a mistake, it wasn't bad reporting, that they knew that the Dominion machines had nothing to do with fraud, that there was no fraud actually committed. And, you know, in order to, in order to win the case, $1.6 billion. Um, and uh, anyway, yesterday, um, uh, Dominion uh, uh, filed uh, this uh, motion for summary judgment, which is to hell with the trial. Look at all the evidence. There's no point in a trial. We win. Um, and the, the company laid out in granular detail its case, uh, as, as they say it, to quote, literally dozens of people with editorial responsibility from the top of Fox organization to the producers of specific shows to the hosts themselves acted with actual malice. Acted with actual malice. Um, and... Uh, you know, they provide, they provide emails, uh, uh, what do you call it, text messages. Um, for example, Sean Hannity and Tucker Carlson tried to get Fox News reporter Jackie Hen Henrik fired for fact-checking a Trump tweet about Dominion and noting that there was no evidence of voting being destroyed, right? And, um, and, and, and here's the, uh, here's the uh, uh, text that uh, uh, Tucker Carlson said to Laura Ingram, please get a fired. Seriously, what the fuck? Carlson texted Ingram and Hannity on November 12th, 2020. It's measurably hurting the company. The stock price is down, not a joke. <laughs> now, this would be fine if Tucker Carlson actually thought that the Dominion machines were actually uh, fraudulent, right? Um, that there was actually fraud uh, that had been committed uh, or that uh, Tucker Carlson or any of these guys uh, thought this. Uh, but this is indeed clearly uh, not the case, right? For example, Tucker Carlson writes to his producer, Alex Pfeiffer, mm -hmm. about Sidney Powell, mm -hmm. one of Trump's campaign lawyers. Mm -hmm. Powell is lying. This is November 16th. Host Laura Ingram to Carlson and fellow host Sean Hannity, quote, Sidney Powell is a bit nuts. Sorry, but she is. Uh, November 15th, Carson to Ingram. Sidney Powell is lying, by the way. I caught her. It's insane. Ingram replied, Sidney is a complete nut. No one will work with her. Ditto for Rudy. That's Rudy Giuliani. Uh, Carson replied, it's unbelievably offensive to me. Our viewers are good people, and they believe it. Fox corporate chairman Rudolph Murdoch, quote, really crazy stuff with regard to 
the whole conspiracy around the elections. That was on the 19th of 11 of November. Murdoch, after watching Giuliani and Powell on November 19th, 2020, quote, terrible stuff, damaging everyone, I fear. Fox News CEO Suzanne Scott replied, yeah, Sheen Hannity, even Janine Pirro agrees. Um, Fox reporter Lucas Thomason to anchor Brett Baer, it's dangerously insane, these conspiracy theories. Uh, Fox political editor Chris Steiwalt, uh, on whatever the allegations that Dominion rigged the election was true, quote, no reasonable person would have thought that. This is all from Fox tweets and Fox emails. This is not anybody's not making this up. Um, Fox uh, CEO, Su uh, Fox News CEO, Susanna Scott responded, quote, yes, I believe that, that, it's, that, that no reasonable person would have thought that to the question. You believe, uh, since at least the time that Fox News called the election on November 7th, that Joe Biden was legitimately elected the President of the United States, correct? And CEO of Fox News says, yes, I believe that. Uh, Carlson texted a redacted name, uh, quote, that it was shockingly reckless to claim that Dominion rigged the election. If there's one, if there's no one inside the company willing to talk, or internal Dominion documents or copies of the software showing that they did it, and as you know, there isn't. Uh, Fox's internal fact checks about Dominion allegations reported they were incorrect and quote not evidence of widespread fraud. Anyway, you can go, you can find these articles. Uh, they were published. Uh, they were published uh, this morning. Uh, coming out of uh, the data dump, uh, data dump uh, that occurred. All this happened uh, in the November. Yeah, all of this is November, November 18th, November 20th. Uh, some of it then uh, in early December, December 12th. Um, uh, it, it, you know, this is Fox News, Washington managing editor Bill Simmons to Fox political editor Chris Starwatt on the network's coverage of, quote, supposed election fraud. He writes, it's remarkable how weak ratings make good journalists do bad things. That was on December 2nd. Uh, and then you go on and on. I mean, there's long lists of this. I mean, uh, I, I don't know what Dominion, what, what, what Fox could do for Dominion not to win uh, their case. I mean, it, it would have to, they would have to lose it on some kind of technicality related to, to uh, uh, to the issues, but uh, there's, there's absolutely no question that senior people at Fox News, including people like uh, Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, uh, and, and Laura Ingram, all knew that there was no fraud committed during the 2020 election, and certainly no fraud committed by the so-called Dominion machines. Uh, they knew that. In spite of that, they continued reporting on it. They continued giving Powell airtime. They continued giving Giuliani airtime uh, without questioning their accounts of what was going on. They perpetuated a, 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 a conspiracy theory in spite of Tucker Carlson saying that people who believe this are good people, kind of his audience. They perpetuated a lie to that audience. Uh, this, is, this is horrific behavior. I hope they lose. I hope they have to pay 1.6 billion or more. A punitive damages would be. I don't think there are punitive damage in this kind of case, but it's just it's just it's just horrific because uh, these uh, conspiracy theories have stuck. They're not part of the part of the the the, the Republican base's uh, uh, set of beliefs. Uh, I don't think anything uh, that is published will change anybody's mind. Uh, but these were lies from the beginning. They were. They were constructed uh, by certain people within the Trump uh, campaign or administration, Powell and Giuliani and others, and they were then uh, spread out by right-wing media, in particular Fox, but also all the other alt-right media that still continues to report these utter falsehoods and that people still believe them and that people still... I don't know, share this stuff and repeat it and advocate for it is just mind boggling and it shows the mentality of conspiracy theories. It doesn't matter how much evidence you show. It doesn't matter how much, uh, you, you know, uh, how much facts show that they're wrong. Facts are not the issue. They never were. Conspiracy theories are never based on facts. 
it's all about emotion. It's all about belief. And ultimately, it's all about faith. Uh, and, and to see people who typically are semi-rational uh, 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 buy into conspiracy theories and embrace them completely mind-boggling. And, and, you know, one of the areas where you're really seeing this, I think, is, is with the COVID vaccines right now. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.